Hey everybody, this is Steph Mischuk with uh, Killer Sites and KillerPHP.com. In this video tutorial, well it's not a video tutorial, in this video blog, I want to just quickly make a couple points about SSL certificates. Um, um, by the way, I'm just wearing a hat because I'm having a bad hair day, so I don't feel like combing my hair. Anyhow, uh, recently uh, my one of my SSL certificates came close to expiry. I registered it uh, for a year at a time. And it expired. No, it didn't expire. Renewed it. But then I forgot to upload the new certificate to the server. Now, the thing is, when you have an SSL certificate, you can buy for one year and three years, well, two years, three years, five years, and sometimes more. Um, I advise, if you think that your store is going to be operational for a while, to get at least a three-year or more certificate because... When the certificate is up for renewal, whether you get a one year, two year, etc., you have to actually re upload uh, a new certificate every time. So, what happened to me for a period of about seven, eight days, uh, though I had renewed it, I had forgotten to upload it. So, when people were attempting to purchase uh, videos from us, they would, if they hit the uh, credit card option, uh, they hit this big screen with a warning that the certificate was not secure. And it was unsecured shopping, which, you know, doesn't help in terms of uh, sales of any products when people get this huge warning message on their, uh, on their web browser. So there you go. That's the lesson. When you renew an SSL certificate, and that's a certificate, by the way, that you use uh, when you have an online store. So you have the, uh, you know, it's the HTTP slash uh, HTTPS. HTTP, if you look in there in your URLs in your uh, in any websites, it starts with HTTP colon slash slash. And if it's a secure server, it's HTTP S colon slash slash. And if you have that S, the web browser is going to be looking for a certificate. And if it doesn't find a valid certificate that has not been updated recently or so on, you're going to get that error, which is going to scare away a lot of people. So yeah. If you uh, do get a certificate and you got a store that you feel that's going to be there for a while, I would advise to get at least a three-year certification certificate certificate certificate. There we go. Uh, otherwise, you may run into a problem like me where you forget a year or two later or two years later, you forget to upload the certificate and your store will be effectively offline for those uh, hours or days. And I can guarantee you that if there's that huge warning message, this site is insecure, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be your sales are gonna be effective affected in a negative manner. There you go. That's my little video tip for today, and uh, we'll talk to we'll talk soon. Ciao.